No, oh, no, not again. Well, it looks like we're back at it again, my guys. Back with another stupid Gmod tutorial where you're gonna learn nothing gotta get to laugh at you for like, for like 12 years or something. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna be teaching you how the fuck to get shit like SMH, hat to work and make an animation, you know. The, the basics, the basics. Let's find a map first, of course. Go wait until the game loads. It's like, oh, but, oh, there we go. Hello, welcome to the game. Um, you see, I'm running at like shit FPS. I don't know. Things first, get your model because I'm lazy and because I don't like anyone. I'm, I have all my shit as dupes. <laughs> so, all I gotta do is, oh, hello there. All I gotta do is stamp pose that shit and you know, easy peasy. Click the tilly, brings up the console. Look at that. Wow, look at those amazing things. Type in tree and you know. Get tree if you remember that trick on um, the CMD console, then you're a chad. What you gotta do, you know, your commands and shit for saying number SMH. It's shift plus SMH menu. Um, but we gotta set a bind for it. I used to do bind t bind t plus SMH menu. You know, pretty easy, no? Pretty fucking easy. Yeah. So let's do bind this key and then do. Plus SMH playback. That is a key. That is a key. Fuck you. Let's try a different key then. That key. That works. Yeah. Now you have a bunch of keys set up. Congratulations. You're not a fucking retard. <laughs> personal tip on it is you gotta set to 40. A lot of people tell you to use 30. I use 40. I recommend you use for, uh, 30. I use 40 because it's a nice mix between smooth and easy animation because it everyone it, you'll learn pretty quickly you should not animate in in 60. 60 is a killer. You Animate in 24 usually, or 30, then you change it to 60 after, but not in Gmod, not in Gmod. Whenever life gets you down, keeps you wearing a frown. Um, hello, it's me from the future. Um, guess what? It was something to do with hat, so I had to fucking remove it, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, you want to know the basics. Rab, his pelvis. People who do not use the pelvis are lazy. Simple as, use the pelvis. Pelvis is a fucking genius move. And the entire point is to add motion, motion, my friend. The idea that we all move in a singular fucking pace. And if you do not use motion, I will come to your house and actually move shit in small intervals as well. You don't want to fuck yourself up by doing massive interval movements. And it's just like, why would you do that? There is no point for you to, use ma to do massive interval movements unless it's a big part of the animation. Such as like if you just punch or some shit. Then you'll do big movements. Small movements with um, a small amount of keyframes will do you fucking brilliantly. Um, I'll show you lip sync after. The lip sync would be a different story <laughs> because um, uh, because SMH has not been released for its 1.4 update, or I believe it's the one. No, the 2.4 update. Check the GitHub. Check the GitHub. I always fucking stalk the GitHub every single day, hoping to see an update, but it's not looking good. But um. Hey, uh, Winded, Winded, can you be my favor? Can you do it? Hey, Winded, S send me, send me a, a development kit, please, 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 for the love of God, please, for the love of God, please, for the love of God. But, um, anyway, um. Uh I take a look at my enormous penis, and my troubles start a melting away. I take a look at my enormous penis, and the happy times are coming. I gotta sing and I dance When I glance in my pants I end the feelings like a sunshiny day I take a look at my enormous penis And everything is going my way Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Also, don't forget your fucking cl cl uh, clavicle bones. Big no-no if you don't use clavicle bones. I'm going to destroy you if you do not use clavicle bones. Because they will save you in many cases and make shit look way better. Oh, I can't even speak English now. This is great. 
You will understand why it's done in a second. You will understand. That looks dodgy as shit. Oh no. Yeah, that front looks fucking dodgy as shit. Go away. Why lie? In like five seconds, you just fix the fucking frame. There you go. Don't really give a shit, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Alright, now we're gonna go into the tutorial, which I don't like. <laughs> Actually, I lied to you. Rule one, I always lie. You know, your lighting, your Chad lighting, something like a, uh, a sort of orangey light that's sort of like around there. Something like that. I would always recommend you go to hard light and leave all that shit the same and probably put it to the brightness as 1.0. Um, then, if you want to change the brightness, all you gotta do it is, you know, just uh, click. Click the lamp, edit properties, and then turn the brightness up like that and blow the shit out of it. Either way, it's fine. Um, as for lighting, I know a lot of people do lighting like this for some unknown reason. And it looks dodgy as shit, even in my setup. And considering I have my shadow resolution blown to like the fucking four millions. Consider that. Still looks dodgy as shit. So the recommendation rev one. Your lamp is supposed to be a sunlight. Sunlight is like that. Sunlight is never like that. Something like that. For me, that looks like, yes, Chad, brilliant, nice. The, uh, the, uh, the full scene, because you got that, boom. Boom. Boom, oh no. Oh no. Ah! Next thing we want to do then. Um, it's a little tool for you that you might want to learn as well. Camera movement. Camera movement's pretty easy to do, my good lad. Pretty easy to do. Except there's a little gimmick. Always click and freeze it before you make the frame. When doing it, and also, Always, 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 always have it so you can see what it looks like. So it goes like that. And always put it, and always try and adjust it for the movements. You don't want to be like so fucking fast. Just goes. And that, and I would do for that, is then I would do a, something like that. It's it's just understanding how um you move the shit. Fucking. I don't like doing it this way, but I might have to. Careful, careful, careful. There we go. There we go. Now then. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, no, no, no. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Um, so we got like. I was, I was already. I would always recommend doing slow moving cameras, because if you do it so f to the point where you can't actually see the animation, there's no point of even animating. You know, just be fucking lazy and just like do. Uh, uh oh, alright. Okay. Simple as, simple as. <laughs> but that's not the best part. That's not the part that makes this all the worthwhile. And I'm about to get to it right now. Easing. And now, before you go, oh, easing. That's part. That's easy. You click the frame and you do the easing. Are you trying to actually get me to kill you in real life? Yeah, you can do it for the first frame. Yeah, you can always do like an ease out frame for the first one, and then do a ease in for the last frame but that's that's basically it the camera camera is important to see how it looks you have your frames there even then i do not like that i think that's quite extreme on my eyes so i would probably change that down to like a what 0 0.4 something ridiculous because it will it it should understand dec decimal numbers now here's the part i was going to get to this keyframe this keyframe right here has a dirty little secret and it's pretty cool you know what happens if you put a keyframe there, and then you have a put a keyframe there, and then you delete that keyframe? Oh, nothing. It doesn't really do much. <laughs> you got trolled. But no. You know what happens if you do it for like a lot of the frames? Have you ever seen that? What happens if you do it for like this frame, and then this frame, and then move that frame, and then do it for this frame, and then this frame, and then do it for that frame, move that frame, this frame, then this frame. And then do it for that, then move that, then this frame. <laughs> and it's the same shit. Um, what's moving? Some people call it arching, I call them dickheads. Because it's not fucking arching, it's just smoothing. <laughs> it's, it's just manual smoothing. Um, with that alone, it looks a tiny bit better. Nothing special, but, 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 but. Then, <laughs> you do it again. <laughs> you do it again. But you do it without those keyframes, and you remove that. So you get to these little two keyframes. Dush. Dush. Recommendation, do it for as many keyframes as you can. But not to the point where you destroy your fucking timeline. 
the entire reason this is done is even though even, I don't really understand that. It's Gmod, it's the entire tool being a wanker. I don't know why the fuck it's programmed like this, but it works. But in the end, and you might be like, oh my god, this is fucking hard work. No, it isn't hard work. Um, the reason I also brought up earlier about doing um, not that many keyframes uh, when do actually doing the animation is because when you do this, you'll have so many to fucking do, and it will break the animation at the end of the day. It'll be so fucking slow. That it's like, what the hell is the point? The only thing I would actually do is just move the keyframes if you can't put them there. So douche, and then again, and then again, and then again. And then again, and then again, and then again, and then again, and then again. Constant, constant, constant. Even do it for this keyframe. If you don't do it for that keyframe, you're dead. Um, doesn't really matter. So then you got. In my opinion, that looks fucking smooth as shit. And it doesn't look like there's a. Look at that. It doesn't look like he's fucking real. If I do that for the camera as well, follow the same rules. But if I were you for the camera, I would do it to pos uh, do it from long, long positions. So, I would do it from like that. And the reason I would do that is because if you do like this and then do it again, and then you slowly move them slowly together, but not to a point where you blow the fucking camera out. Is in the end it somehow registers that you're making like smoothing frames. I don't even know how to explain it at the end of the day. It just fixes a lot of the stiff errors that are just like the single keyframes. To the point where that, if I move that out. Look at that. That looks good in my opinion. That looks pretty fucking good, but if you want to record it, I personally for me I use OBS to record because my computer's powerful. I have a 28 super. Not not bragging, not bragging. Everyone else is shit. I'm powerful. You're not. But um, you don't have a card that is capable of you know invent encoding. I would just recommend doing the uh, the old-fashioned way of SMH make JPEG, and then it makes like five billion JPEGs. And it that then you put it in Sony Vegas, and then or Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Premiere Pro. You're editing software of choice. But I don't like doing it in pictures, because pictures will fuck you over pretty quickly. The best way to do it in that case, then, is you grab the pictures, turn them into a video sequence, and do it in, like, 30 to 40 FPS. Well, uh, it's pretty basic. Probably took, like, six years of your time, but, you know, it's all right. Welcome with the Gmod animation. Don't, don't, don't enjoy your time here. Get the hell out of here.